Hello, everybody. Um, welcome to the Essential Oils Beginner Class. My name is Jeanette McLeod, and I am a Platinum Leader with Young Living. I have been using um, Young Living Essential Oils for about four years now, and in the beginning, I noticed some pretty significant um, things happen with my family and that really catapulted us into the opportunity to share it with others simply because it was a product that worked for us we were totally um, grateful that somebody had introduced us to these products and we couldn't keep our mouths closed and we wanted to share with other people about the benefits of these essential oils so I'll just kind of fill you in a little bit on who I am. I live in Red Deer. I have a husband of eight years and two daughters, Nola and Heidi, and they're six and four. And I actually have a background in public school teaching, and my husband has a background in working for the oil field here in central Alberta. So that was kind of our background, and we were doing just, you know, the regular nine-to-fiver. And I, I didn't have it on my radar at all to be you know, holistic, naturally minded, anything like that. And uh, an acquaintance friend of mine happened to invite me to a um, beginner class in her home. And I, I thought, I, yeah, I want to get out of the house and, you know, what's this about? So I went and I listened and it kind of blew my mind. And I thought, oh, I didn't know that there was so much to this. And so we bought our starter kit, we used them on our family and saw these changes, and now here we are four years later still, still sharing the benefits of these oils. So let's get started. Um, because this is a beginner's class, I want to dive right in to what we're here to learn about. So, sorry about that. Um, I seem to have lost my notebook already. All right, because I want to make sure that I don't miss a thing. So the first thing I really wanted to talk to you about was why Young Living? And, you know, we see in the malls, we see in the grocery stores, we see in the natural um, health food stores, all these essential oils that are available to people. And, you know, it boils down to, well, why would I want to use Young Living? And it basically, for me personally, boils down to the fact that they have a seed to seal guarantee. Now, one thing that I've learned in my research and looking around and just being around is that um, when you put anything on your skin, it gets into your bloodstream really quickly. So in anything I put on my skin, it's going to take about 30 seconds to hit my bloodstream. That's it. And it takes about 20 minutes for it to hit every cell in my body. So that's pretty fast. That said, it's important to know kind of what I'm putting on my body. So if I'm going to use essential oils kind of as, you know, medicine for my family, then I want it to be of the highest quality. So that's kind of where I was coming from. And knowing that they have a seed to seal guarantee, that means that they choose heirloom seeds, that they plant them themselves, harvest them, cultivate, cultivate and harvest, and take care of their soil, take care of their plants. And Young Living is far better than organic because they can ensure that their soil is at least 50 years chemical free, which is, is better than a lot of the certification out there. And, you know, so they go through all this rigor, rigorous um, activity in the beginning, and then they also distill their oils on site. They have a large database in testing their oils to make sure their constituents are at the utmost of value for the essential oils. And they're full disclosure. You can go onto the farms at any time. You can get tours. You can be a part of the harvesting. So it really is, um, really is such a, a high integrity and high quality product and company. So that for me would be the reason you choose Young Living is because of their high integrity and their incredibly high um, quality of product. So essential oils are definitely very effective and potent. So that's why it's nice to um, have them on hand. And that's another thing I wanted to mention to, to you tonight is 
the reason it's so important to have your kit now. The one thing that I've really seen is when people say, yeah, that sounds good. Yeah, maybe someday. Yeah, um, I'm thinking about it. And then they, they call me and they say, hey, Jeanette, would your oils help with this? Or do you think your oils would help with that? And I think, yeah, you know, they would, absolutely, but you don't have it. You don't have it yet. So the the thing is to really be prepared. Be, um, you know, don't be reactive. Be proactive and have that kit available to you right away. So so that's that's the one thing that I highly encourage is that you can have it and and not really have any ailments. I've had people say, well, I really don't get sick much. No, but there will come a time when you want to have something that will relieve some symptoms. So it's better to have it before you even need it, in my opinion. So then we have the safety. A couple of the things that I want to make sure you know with essential oils is that although it comes in this nice little bottle, it seems pretty harmless, some of them can be pretty potent and you don't want to get them in your eyes. You don't want to put them in your ears. Those are not great places to put them. So as I said before, being on top of your skin topically, it gets into your bloodstream fast. So that's a really great way to use the essential oils is to get them on your body. That's the best. So um, for the safety part of it, you want to make sure that you have a carrier oil on hand. And a carrier oil is V6 oil is what we have with Young Living. It's a Young Living product. And it's got many different um, beautiful um, oils in it like coconut oil, sesame oil, almond oil and what it does is help dilute the essential oil that you put on your skin. So that's why it's nice. I usually just use coconut oil and I um, have it on hand in case it gets a little warm or a little bit irritated on my skin because some of them can be so potent that it causes a little bit of irritation on your skin or maybe I'm having a detoxing effect. So it's nice to have a coconut oil on hand so that I can just dilute it and it helps um, take that away and it also spreads it out and it makes it really nice almost as a massage oil for whatever I'm using it for. So the other thing too is, um, oh no, lost my train of thought. That train left so we'll carry on. So, so just make sure that you have your carry oil on hand and they don't go in your eyes and you don't go in your ears. Now um, let's get into the oils themselves. Now if you don't already have a starter kit then tonight is going to be the night where you realize you really need to get one. Um, this is what our starter kit looks like. So there you go. You can see it now. Young Living, this is our beautiful starter kit. So I peel the sleeve off. Now it's important to pay attention to this because I've had a lot of people throw the box out without realizing there's a secret compartment. So now here it is. You have a nice little tag here and you're going to open it up. And this is what you have. So now inside this little pocket here, you're going to pull this out and you're going to have tons of little information. So the information is going to tell you things like where our farms are located, more about our seed to seal process, and how you can get your kit paid for. So it's great information to have on hand. There's also one little <clears throat> pamphlet in here that I like. It's, it looks like this, and so it just kind of shows you at a glance the oils and what they do. So like peppermint, it'll tell you it's one of the oldest and most highly regarded herbs. Peppermint essential oil has a fresh aroma that is energizing to give you a renewed feeling of vigor. So it'll just tell you kind of at a glance what these oils do for you and how much benefit they are. And there's even more oils on that than um, just the ones from the starter kit. So it kind of gives you some insight as to what else there is. So then I can pull this right out and I have these 10 everyday oils. And I've said before, these 10 everyday oils have really been, um, they've re kind of replaced my medicine cabinet and addressed so many of our everyday concerns in our home. So this is what um, we basically use and although Young Living has about 200 different essential oil singles and blends, these kind of seem to be the ones I come back to. I have my favorites outside of this, but these seem to be the ones that I always come back to.
So um, let's just start with lavender. Lavender I like to call, there it is, lavender. For those of you that are joining us from the United States, our bottles look a little bit different than yours just because we have French labeling on ours too. You're going to have something come in your kit called the Vitality line. So they might look a little different. It's the exact same kit. And um, so, don't, so don't worry about that. But lavender, it's going to be the exact same oil in the bottle. Lavender, I call the Swiss Army knife of oils. So when in doubt, use lavender. Lavender is really great to have on hand because it's... Um, awesome for minor cuts and burns and for bruises. So this one is ideal to have around for kids. Well, and me too, because I'm not um, awesome at avoiding cuts and, and bruises and that kind of thing and burns in the kitchen. So this one's really nice to have on hand for that. <clears throat> Any of the little boo-boos or um, skin irritations, lavender's really nice for that. Another thing that it's great for that we all know about is the calming and um, relaxing effect of lavender. <clears throat> so when you smell lavender, some people hate the smell of it, and that's okay. I don't love the smell of it either, but the thing about the essential oils is that's something I quickly got over because of how wonderful their effects were for me. So I'm like, yeah, I don't love the smell, but wow, is it ever effective. So I can overcome that. So this one's really nice. I like to put this one on my feet at night. A couple of drops in the bath water is really nice too. I mix it around with Epsom salts before I put it in the bath, and that helps to disperse the essential oil really nicely. So this one is really soothing um, on your skin. So if you have any kind of um, skin irritation, this is a really great one. And it's nice because it's such a mild and gentle oil. So <clears throat> it's not one you really have to um, worry about being hot or anything. It's just not. So it's really a very safe oil. <clears throat> the next one I'm going to talk about is peppermint. Peppermint has a real cooling effect. So this one's really nice on hot summer days to put on the nape of your neck or it's nice to put um, here if you're like sweating or you have, you know, um, sudden hot spurts, you can put it on you to help you keep cool. This one is also really great for headaches. It can help relieve the symptom of a headache. I like to put it on my temples and on the back of my neck. This one is one that you really want to keep away from your eye because of how potent it is. Um, even just the aroma, um, the fumes in the air can cause some irritation in your eyes. So um, definitely not one to be scared of, but one to be cautious with. It's also really good for tired and sore muscles. So if you have aching joints or, you know, anything from sprains and strains, this is a really nice one for your, to put on, on topically. Um, I didn't really talk too much about the different ways we use essential oils, but topically is how I use essential oils 95% of the time. And of course, we diffuse every day in our house. <clears throat> I knocked down the diffuser. Just give me one second. <clears throat> I bumped my diffuser and it fell down, so that was a little embarrassing, but I'm over it now. So... This is what you also get with your starter kit is your diffuser. So it plugs into your wall and you fill it up with water and you put in a couple of drops of essential oils and then it puts the essential oils into the air and then you're breathing them in. And I mean, aromatherapy is as old as the hills. So it's definitely a great way to get your essential oils um, around you and breathing them in because, you know, that's a really effective method too. Just like lavender or peppermint, what I like to do is um, put it in the diffuser and run it um, in our bedroom before we go to sleep. Okay, let's carry on. I see my phone is dying also, so that's not great prep. Maybe I can do this. All right. No, maybe not. Okay, so we have next, I'm going to talk about lemon. Lemon is, I've, I thought this was always kind of a dark horse of essential oils. So this one is really inexpensive, but it's extremely valuable. I like putting this one in my diffuser first thing in the morning. It's fresh and it's uplifting. But we also know that lemon has really great um, properties for cleaning. 
So this is a really great one to maybe use for fruits and veggies in your sink water when you're cleaning your fruits and veggies when you've got them home from the grocery store. That's a nice thing to do with them. And then also lemon is really great for symptoms of cough and cold. So this is a nice one to use if you've got symptoms of cough and cold, you can apply it right on. Your bottoms of your feet are great places. <clears throat> and also, I like this one to have in my kitchen just because it's it's proven, it's proven, I've seen it, take off black marker. And I've also had um, used it for taking off canning labels at home. So, <clears throat> excuse me. That's why this one's so nice to have. In that, you know what, Shauna? I searched and searched high and low for my balloons, and I can't find any balloons in my house. So um, I will put a recording on here as soon as I find a balloon. But no word of a lie, blow the balloon up, one drop of lemon oil, and report back to me what happens. Okay, so moving on. So we had, um, I'm going to talk only about two, I think, more oils, because I don't, I just really wanted you to understand how they can really be effective for so many different things. And it isn't just about, well, I never get sick, so I don't really need essential oils. They do so much for you. So the the, the strains and the, the bruises and the skin and so many different things, the uplifting part of it, they do so much for you. Okay, so Carla, you're right. Let's talk about frankincense. Frankincense is, Claudia, you're not supposed to tell people. Frankincense is so beautiful for your skin. Um, this one is really nice. I like to just put a drop on my hands and rub it on my face. It's really good for that. Or if you have stretch marks, this is a really nice one to put on your skin for that. It's just really gentle. It feels really amazing. So that one is definitely good for all things skin. Um, wrinkles, warts, frankincense is your friend. This one is kind of a top shelf oil. It's kind of expensive, so I don't usually diffuse it or I don't put it, um, you know, I, I, I use it sparingly, that's for sure. I So I don't really, um, I'm selective with what I use it for. And, you know, usually it's for something like scarring or um, more of a difficult um, scrape or bruise or something like that than I would use. I would go for frankincense. Now, this one. Thieves. Most people know about thieves before they know about Young Living. So, thieves is a blend, an oil blend, and it has um, clove, cinnamon, rosemary, lemon, and eucalyptus. So, lots of different healing benefits with thieves for sure. So the ones I picked out are clove and lemon are in this, and they are really great for symptoms of cough and cold. Now rosemary is in it, and that's really good for a sore throat. So when you feel these things coming on, this one is really a great oil to start applying to the bottoms of your feet. It's a great way to kind of stay healthy, is just applying it to the bottoms of your feet every night before you go to bed. And um, you can also, you know, put it on your throat if you've got that tickle in your throat. And it's also nice to dilute with coconut oil and maybe rub on your back. So, so Thieves is a really good one to have on hand. This is the preventative one. This is one to have before anything starts to happen to you and your family. So we love Thieves and we would never be without Thieves, that's for sure. Now, I think the last one that I'm going to talk about, uh, if I've got enough time, I've got 10 more minutes, so we're doing pretty good. Panaway. I love Panaway. If you smell like, if you know what wintergreen smells like, it smells like gum, it smells like A535, that's what Panaway smells like. So wintergreen, it's got that really wonderful aroma. And the healing thing about Panaway is that it has helichrysum in it. And helichrysum is really good for bruises and joint and muscle pain. So this is really nice for maybe before or after a workout. Put it on your knees, put it on your wrists maybe, your hands if you're feeling pain in your joint and muscle area. This one is really nice. So just think if you have muscle um, cramping, you can use that one on your belly, you can use it sore necks or sore shoulders, anything like this. So 
We have a power lifter in our group and she says she loves it for her muscles or her muscles really love it. So if a power lifter loves it, I think anybody can love it. Um, again, this one is a little bit more pricey, but it's well worth it. It's worth every penny. And this one is also a great one to dilute with coconut oil because then you'd really get that, um, you can really spread it out. So a couple of drops in coconut oil, maybe a tablespoon, maybe five or 10 drops, and then it really goes the distance. You can really get it on you like a good massage oil. So that's pan away. I'm also going to talk about, you know what, we're just flying through here, so I might be able to get them all done in, in quick order. Digize. So digize, like digestion, digize. This is perfect for anything tummy and digestive related. So this one actually has, what does it have in it? It's got peppermint, tarragon, ginger, juniper, fennel, lemongrass, anise, and patchouli. So this one is great for like lemongrass is in it and it's great for all things digestive discomfort so that's why like lemongrass is that way and we all know kind of about anise and tarragon and them being great for digestion ginger is in here and ginger is really great for gas and bloating so if you get that bloating feeling the ginger in digize is going to be really beneficial for you and then patchouli is here and patchouli relieves flatulence. So that's why this is also really good for babies that kind of have that, you know, gurgly tummy problems. Then you can use this to help them fart, get it out, get the things rolling out of their system. So with this one, I've used a bottle like this and I've got a little roller top and I can just dilute it with an almond oil or uh, avocado oil and you could even use a, a vert, an olive oil. And I put drops in there and a little roller ball and you can just rub it really easily on their tummy. Um, and this one, we use this one a lot in our house um, for any kind of tummy discomfort. So this is definitely a must travel with. Um, this is some, this is one that you should kind of always have in your purse and with you. And especially if you're, you're going away, that's when you're gonna wanna have with you. Now, my ultimate favorite is RC. And a little known fact about RC is that this was the very first blend Gary Young ever developed. So it stands for respiratory congestion. And this is a blend with um, eucalyptus, cypress, marjoram, and a few other different ones. But I really love this. So eucalyptus we know is really great for cough and cold. And the eucalyptus is really what you smell. So I really like to apply this one to my throat, under my nose, on my chest, and even on my back. I've put this one on my baby's backs. Cypress is really great for a sense of grounding. And when I read that, I thought, oh, that's interesting. Maybe that's why I love it so much because um, this one I put, put on often, all the time. It helps support my respiratory system, but cypress can also have a really great grounding effect. And the marjoram in it is also great for joint and muscle strain. So, you know, in, in your respiratory discomfort, this is a nice one to apply also. Now we have um, purification. Let me see, I've got them all. Purification and Copaiba. So purification, this one is great for neutralizing odors. So this one is really great to put in your diffuser when you cook something smelly. It's great to make into a spray or even just drops in your shoes for stinky shoes. It's also really good for um, you know gym bags or diaper pails or garbage cans. Purification is really good. Purification has myrtle in it. So myrtle is really a powerhouse for cough and cold. So this one is also a great one. If you've tried thieves and you're not really seeing any effects or lemon, go to purification. Purification is a great one to apply to your throat, your feet, your chest. Um, this is also really great for supporting the respiratory. Tea tree oil. We all know and love tea tree oil for various reasons. It's in here. And this also has citronella in it. So if you think about what citronella um, can be good for, this one's really nice to put on you before you go outdoors in the summertime. So I usually just put a couple drops on my shoulder and I act, kind of act as a walking diffuser. So that helps with any kind of pests or nuisance that, that might be outside while I'm um, outside exploring. So that is why I love purification. Now the last one here in this set of, t of 10 is Copaiba. And Copaiba is a really soothing, mild oil. And this one really is an amplifier. This one has the ability to just kind of promote the properties that the other oils have. So I like to use this one. Um, 
you know, if I'm going to use a drop of frankincense, I'll use a drop of copaiba too, and it'll just kind of like take it up a notch. So that's what I like to use copaiba for. Now, here's the important part. So I took my, here's my kit, and this was in here all nice like this, and I took it out. Now just wait, there is a secret compartment underneath, and underneath you get a whole bunch of beautiful treasures too. So do not throw your kit out until you've taken out your Ninja Red. And these are your Ninja Red sachets. And you want to put these in the fridge. This is a great fortifying drink that's chock full of vitamins and minerals and nutrients. My, my family drinks this every day. So put this in your fridge, let it get cold, and drink it in the morning and see how it makes you feel. You also get a hand purifier so you can feel how amazing our aloe based um, hand purifier is and you get little cards and you get little sample jars so that when your people come over and say well can I have some of your peppermint you can say yeah you sure can and I'll put it in a little bottle for you and you also get northern lights black spruce northern lights black, black spruce has an incredible aroma we love diffusing this we love just applying it because of how great it smells and this is Canada's pride and joy. It comes from our very own farm in Fort Nelson, BC. And uh, this one is just one that makes me feel great when I put it on. So definitely any of these oils, I really want to encourage you that if you have a kit and you're like, oh, I don't really know what to do with it, ask Google. Google has a lot of great ideas and a lot of great resources. Pinterest is also another one that has great resources. Another thing that I really encourage you to do, and I can post a link, or maybe one of my leaders who are on here can post a link, to the Every um, Essential Oils Pocket Reference, or you can get a desk reference from lspcanada.com. So they have all sorts of different books, even little pocket references. We're giving these away, so um, stay tuned for how we you can enter the draw to win. But these reference guides are really the end-all be-all. Um, this is what I look for. Anything that's going on with our family, you can look it up in here and it will give you your ideas and suggestions of what you can do to help you and your family. So that's really important. And Young Living is really just an online based company where you can do all of your shopping for products, for natural products that are toxin and chemical free and safe for your family. So Young Living, not only this is the starter kit and it's called starter kit because this is really where you start. When you get passionate about these oils, you're going to realize that Young Living really wants to promote the lifestyle of living without those toxins. So you're going to get into the idea of ditching and switching. And so you're going to ditch the, you know, Crest toothpaste you have that is potentially um, doing bad things in your system to going to Young Living's toothpaste, which is totally um, healthy and chemical free. You're also going to look at their, their cleaner, their Ninja Red, their supplements. We have vitamins and minerals. We have vitamin C. We have vitamin B. And the, the best thing about all of these things is that they're infused with essential oils. They're infused with our essential oils. So it really makes them a lot more effective than some of the other ones on the market. So you're going to get into the consideration of ditch and switch and with that comes essential rewards. So essential rewards is our loyalty program where you can benefit from getting tons of points towards free product and you can also earn um, just free oils and free things. And so what it is, is it is our monthly subscription where you say, yeah, I want my fun box of Young Living every month and I'm going to commit to switching out some of my other products for some of these clean products Young Living offers. And um, and then you just start, you know, switching out some of the foaming hand soap and the shampoo and you get to see the health benefits and you get to reap the rewards from that. So essential rewards is something that you'll want to um, look into. And I'll have a post on, on our event page. Next, I want you to be in touch with whoever invited you tonight to get started with your starter kit. So if you were invited by your friend or your sister or whomever, or if you don't know who to reach out to, please post in our event and we can hook you up with the appropriate people or I can even personally help you get started. So um, definitely be in touch. The kit is invaluable. And again, I said it's about being uh, proactive, not reactive. That's what you really want to do. So I'm also going to post on, on my opportunity. Um, just by sharing this, I've been able to get my husband out of the traditional workforce and be at home with his family and 
Um, it's been a pretty crazy ride. If you're interested in that at all, I'll post our opportunity video so you can have a look at, at kind of where we are. Um, so yeah, talk to the people, talk to the person that invited you. And um, if you have any questions, please um, feel free to ask. And the other thing is the giveaways. So how is this going to work? Because there's going to be people floating in and out. We have 80 people on here right now. Thank you so much for joining me tonight. Um, this has been amazing, and I'm so happy for that. Um, but what I want to uh, say to you is that I'm going to put a post up on Facebook, on the event, on inside this event. And when you see it, it's going to say, what was your favorite... Um, tip, trick, or tidbit that you learned tonight about one of the oils. And you're going to have to hashtag one of the oils I talked about that interest you the most. So you're not entered into the draw if you don't hashtag an oil in the comments below. So that's how I'm going to run it. So I know that you actually were here for this webinar, that you took the time out to learn about our starter kit. So on it, when it says, what was your favorite ha um, tidbit or trick, you can say, hey, you know, I didn't know lemon was good for cough and cold. Hashtag lemon. It's that hashtag that's going to get you entered into the draw. So for that draw, I'm going to give away some real cute little goodies. I've got some pens and some um, different little, little things. So it's kind of going to be a little surprise pack and also maybe some hand purifiers and things that I'm going to do. I'll do five draws so you have um, a chance so there will be five winners um, so that kind of increases your odds and um, I think that's kind of it so again thank you so much for joining me tonight and I'm glad you took the time out. I'm also going to post in the event the link to our next event and it's going to be beyond the kit and energy boosting. So how can you boost your energy over this holiday season? So I'll post that in the event that we've got. It's gonna be up for a week, um, this webinar, and then also the link to the next webinar that's going to be about boosting your energy and what you can do to get that energy up. So thanks for joining me. Have a great night and ask any questions and I will catch you on the other side.